Hey what's going on guys, today in this video I am gonna give you a quick review of Lineage OS on my Moto G. Let's begin the review with the boot animation. When you reboot your phone, you can find a new boot animation which is pretty decent. You have got the new theme manager, long press the home screen and swipe up to access the theme manager. The best feature of this Lineage OS is the protected apps. Just select the apps which you want to protect and it will be hidden from the app drawer. You can access the hidden app by coming to protected app section and tap on that arrow mark. The status bar is quite similar to that of Cyanogen mod as both of it are based on Android N. Go to settings and then to button sections, button layout, here you can change the layout of your buttons on the navigation bar. You can set various actions to your home screen button, such as long pressing the home screen button will open the search assistant and double tapping the home screen button will lock the screen. Also it has some hidden features. First feature is about the camera. You can double click on the power button to open the camera. Next hidden feature is about the drag and drop text. You may already know that Long pressing the recent button will open the multi window, but you can also drop the text from one window to other window by simply selecting the text and dropping it in other window. Next hidden feature is about the brightness and the lock screen. Go to setting, status bar, toggle on the brightness control and double tap to sleep. With this, you can adjust the brightness by sliding your finger at top of the screen. And you can also double tap on the top of the screen to turn off the display. Next feature is about blocking the number. Open the phone's dialer app, tap on the three dots, tap on settings, go to call blocking and add the number here. If you block any number here, he or she will be blocked throughout the operating system. You do not need to block the number again on WhatsApp or any other app. You can block as many numbers as you want. Next feature is about switching to previous apps. You can switch to previous app by just double tapping on the recent button. Next feature is about do not disturb. Go to settings, system UI do you know, do not disturb. Before enabling this, my volume keys look something like this. Just toggle on show with volume you will get do not disturb tab. That's it about the video guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.